Hello everyone and welcome back to W Bricks. Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Lego Ninjago Sora's Transforming Mech Bike Racer. Now this set just released here in the United States on June 1st and it retails for $48.99. Yeah, that's right. That is one heck of a weird price. Is it going to be worth it? for 384 pieces. Uh, we'll have to check it out here in this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you have not already here, and let's get started with this review. Now, taking a look at the box art, of course, I think it looks very good. It actually represents that opening scene very well, where you see the Sora's Mike, uh, Mike, uh, mech bike racer there transform. And I think that looks very, very good there. You see the uh, new Ninjago sort of an area back there. What do they call it? The crossroads. Looks very, very good. Uh, what you don't know here is that this looks like a light pink here. And I always thought that this was going to be a light pink in the set, but it is not. Lego's advertising on this, I feel, is very off. It is not hot pink or that light pink. It is that coralish color. And that does not look anything like the coralish color. It looks very much like a pink. I do not know what they did here. Um, but yeah, see, look, you can see it on the Sora minifigure as well. That does not look like the coral color that it is. I think some blatant false advertising there. Um, not in a negative sense. It's, you know, it's not a negative false advertisement. It's just... I don't know why they made it look like that. It's like they toned down the colors. Very strange. Very, very strange. Taking a look at the back, you can see it in the bike uh, sort of transformation area. And you can see how to transform it. Uh, it looks very good. We do have the finger hole things here, whatever. The finger pressers, they suck. But, you know, it is what it is. And on the side here, we've got Sora, who looks very good. All in all, a great box. Let's get into the set. All right, and here we are with the first two minifigures of the set. We've got Aaron there on the left and Sora on the right. Both amazing looking figures. I've talked about them before, so I'll just be brief here. I think the yellow looks very good on Aaron, except it is Skylar's color. So I think that's a little strange that we went with a color that's already been used. I think Sora looks very good. Uh, the coralish color for the hair looks terrific. Uh, the printing on the arm there is terrific as well. Taking a look around the back, there is her other face. And here is Aaron's other face. Oh, wait, he does not have one. Yes, that's right. Aaron does not have a second face here, which is very, very odd. I do not know what the choice was behind that. He definitely should have had a second face. Very, very odd that he does not. All in all, two very good minifigures, though. Um, the weapon for Aaron here is very nice as well, his grappling hook. Uh, very nice piece, but I do wish it had a gun like attachment thing here on the end because it just doesn't feel right just having him hold the rope because he doesn't do that in the show. Not that big of a deal. All in all, two very, very good minifigures, very cool new minifigures. Uh, I'm excited to see new variants of them in the future. Let's move on. Next up here is we've got baby Ryu there on the left and then the brand new wrapped in minifigure on the right. Um, it is disappointing that Wrapped in comes in three sets. I know if you've seen my other reviews, I've already talked about this. Um, we should not be getting multiple wrapped ins like this. It's absolutely ridiculous. Um, but it is a good figure, so I cannot slander him on that. He looks very, very good. The brand new Imperium sword piece looks excellent. Face print, everything looks great. It's a terrific figure. Here is the secondary face there. An awesome expression. And Baby Ryu, of course, is terrific. And I just want to show you that blade close up since I accidentally knocked it off. But look at that. Such a cool piece. Absolutely love that. Uh, an absolutely stunning piece. Once again, two good minifigures, but none of the minifigures in this set are exclusive. And I'll talk about that at the end. Let's move on to the mech. All right, and here we are with the mech bike racer here. And I just want to show a quick comparison. You really can't tell that that's that coral. It looks like two completely different colors just showing it in person. Like that's not even close. Yeah, everything else is normal, and then there's just that. I do not know what they were doing. I don't know if it was originally this light pink. I don't know if it got changed. Very, very strange, because uh, I never pictured Sora until we saw her um, in the Lego sets uh, that she was going to have the coral. I, th I thought it was light pink from all the press images. So until I had it in person, I had no idea. I do prefer the, the uh, bike version here of the mech instead of the mech. I think that the bike looks very, very cool. I love the three wheels there on it. It is unique. Uh, the blasters on the side look very good. Uh, good cockpit piece up top. Uh, no, no panels or anything on the inside, which I thought was a little strange, but not that big of a deal. 
Uh, lots of stickers on this set. They're just all over, but that's okay. I think they do add a good amount of detail, and so I do like them here on this set. All in all, I think this is a very good set like this. I think this is one of the best bikes we've seen in Ninjago, maybe of all time. It's one of the top ones. I think it is absolutely stunning. It is unique, unique colors. You love to see that. And now the transformation... All right, now I'm going to go over the transformation here pretty quick. It is actually extremely simple. You're just going to pull up right here, and you've got a leg. You're going to pull up right here. You see we've got a leg. Let me readjust the camera for you. Now we got some more space here. Now you just pull out right here, and you've got arms. And boom, you've got a mech. Now you can take the choice to take these little blades out the back and then clip them on down here for this direction if you want the sword this way. I think the sword probably looks better this way, kind of the side arm sword that we see in that Titan Mech Battle back in 2015. Uh, I think I honestly just prefer them still to stay on top, but if you take them down, then you can raise up the flags there as well. Super cool uh, playability, you know, the ability to play with it. I was going to say playability. I don't think that's a word, but this is a great concept to change it from the mech into the bike instead of just having you know, two separate sets or the Kai set, you know, back in 2020 from the Prime Empire Wave, you were able to switch it from the mech to the racer sort of a thing, but you had to rebuild it. It is so cool to be having a set here where you can just instantly boom, boom, oops, boom, and boom, and now you've got a bike again. Super cool, like, that's just super cool in general, but I'm sure kids will have a great time playing with it. Adults have a great time just messing with it. Myself, I've, I've moved this thing so many times since I've gotten it and just repose it. There's great posability for it. I think it is just a, such a super fun and unique set. Like, I just absolutely adore the set. Super, super good mech here. I'm just blown away by it. And finally, last but not least, we've got this little racer thing there for um, Raptin. It's fine. It looks like, you know, it looks like an airspeeder thing. Nothing too crazy. Just a few pieces here. Um, but it gets the point across and it works perfectly fine here in the set. Uh, yeah, nothing too special there. All right, here we are at the end of the review. And is this set worth $48? I mean, okay, let's just call it $50. Kind of like how I call the Temple set $100. This is basically a $50 set. Like, if you're living in the United States, any sales tax you've got, you're it's, it's going over $50. So... I think, yes, this is definitely a $50 set. I think it works. The prices, though, you know, everything's going up. So a $50 set, what I'm thinking about, $50 set when I was a kid is not a $50 set now. And so as a $50 set here in 2023, I think this works. I think it's good. It's just I wish we were getting more. None of the minifigures are exclusive, which absolutely sucks. I feel like every set should have an exclusive minifigure, kind of like it did in Crystallized. It's just, it's hard to get a set and not get an exclusive minifigure, especially when you're spending so much money on it. But once again, this is a terrific set. You, even though they're not exclusive, they are great minifigures. And this set allows you, or, you know, a kid, it allows you to get all of the new characters, basically, you know, basically your most seen on screen bad guy, both of your two new ninjas and the baby dragon, Ryu, for $50. You're getting all the new people that you would need. For fifty dollars, which I think is a good a good concept, I just wish that there was somebody else in here that was exclusive. But as far as the set goes, I absolutely love it. One of the best mech bike, you know. There's nothing I can really even compare it to. It's just a great set. It's a great set. I I, I have nothing to complain about for it, except for that the box just does not give it justice. I think that the box is hurting the set. If it would just show that it's coral, you're going to get more people into it because the coral color is such a vibrant, beautiful color. It just blows my mind that they would not want to advertise that more. Uh, but all in all, this is a great set. Make sure to leave a comment down below about what you think of the set. Have you picked it up already? Are you planning on picking it up? Uh, let me know down in the comment section below. Thank you all very much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you have not already. And I'll see you all later on W Breaks. Ah!